Hi, I'm Dr. Linda, and this is The Helpful Homeschooler. Summer is quickly upon us, and I know we're wrapping up homeschooling, and your kids are looking forward to the summer as well as you are looking forward to the summer. But summer is really a busier time for homeschool moms and dads than ever, because that's the time we're getting together our curriculum for the next year. And so I wanted to come to you with some thoughts about curriculum and some things to look for in curriculum. We'll go to, there's a lot of, in the summers, there's a lot of big curriculum fairs. And it's easy, if you're a book lover like me and a curriculum lover like me, it is easy to get oh, excited and you just wanna buy everything. And what I would like for you to think about before you go and go wild at a curriculum fair, I want you to sit down and ask yourself, what's worked for me? If possible, you've done an end of the year test. I did a video on that, so be sure and check that out. But if possible, you've done an end of the year test and you've got your scores back, and you can see if a curriculum is working well or if a curriculum is not working well, talk to your kids and say, you know, now listen, before you do this, no, they're coming at it from a, ooh, if I tell her I didn't like it, will I not have any curriculum at all? Kind of weed out their, their negativity here. But ask them, you know, did you love this? Did you not love it? Ask yourself, was this easy to teach? Did I learn something from it? Was it something that was easy to incorporate with other things? So as you go into the next year and you're thinking about a curriculum, you need to ask yourself a lot of questions. Just don't get a curriculum because it's cheap. Don't get a curriculum because it's expensive. Don't get a curriculum because it's bright. Don't get a curriculum because it is, um, I don't know how to say this, I'm just gonna say it. Because it's all on your kids and you don't have to do anything with it, don't do that. I want you to find the right fit for your family. So, and all curriculum is gonna cost you something personally. There's gonna be some time put in it personally. That's the best curriculum. Because when you're invested, your kids are invested. So, I know the first time we used Rod and Staff, and I love Rod and Staff English. And in some places it's like really slow. But the first time I looked at it, and it looks, looks really slow, but it was really thorough. And if I could get past the cover on it, I liked what was in it. And so don't just look at the cover of something and decide, you can't judge a book by its cover. Go through it, look at it, go online, see what people think about it. Um, if you want to write your own curriculum, I encourage you to do so. Summer is the right time to do it. Because when school starts, you can't be writing your curriculum. You have other things to do. Uh, I think I did a video on how to write your curriculum. If not, let me know and I'll, I'll do a, a really quick video on how to write curriculum. Super easy. Subscribe to this channel because I'm always giving you little bits of stuff. Sometimes it's for you, sometimes it's not, but that's okay. Leave your comments below. Again, we, we love to hear from you. But now is your time to do your curriculum, to pick your curriculum. Remember, different kids have different needs. You're going to have those oral learners that you don't want to give them a book this thick. It's not going to work. What's going to be right for your family? And just because something worked for the Jones family doesn't mean it's going to work for your family. And this is the biggest question right now of homeschool moms. You're not even done and you're like, what am I going to do next year? Oh my gosh. Take your time breathe and again research it ask your friends what they're doing and maybe if you can get some of their things and look at it we have a big library here i have probably oh i don't know 500 700 books so my teachers can come in they can look through things they can see what fits for them uh, we take let our teachers take the curriculum from here so we're a little different but you can always find somebody in your group, in your peers, that's doing something different. Ask to look at it. Ask what worked for them. Doesn't mean it's gonna work for you, but you're just getting that feedback. Don't jump into a curriculum because they're having the curriculum fair. And I, I don't know what else to tell you about that. It's just, I've done it so many times, I know so many moms have done it, and it goes by the wayside because it wasn't thoroughly vetted. And when you go to a curriculum fair and you're moving from booth to booth to booth, and if it's a really big one, if it's an FPA one, they're huge. 
and it's overwhelming. Before you go into a curriculum fair, do a little homework, know what you're looking for. Say, okay, I know I want to stop at the Mac UC table, or I know I want to stop at the Saxon table, and then spend a little time there. Always try to go to a curriculum fair without your kids. I, sometimes it's not possible, but do if you can, because they're always tugging you and they're always wanting to go one way when you need to be focused. And curriculum is one of the biggest things that we do is pick out that curriculum. So take your time this summer, research it, do your homework, and do what's right for you. And again, you might have one child that's gonna work for and one child that's not. Don't, don't sweat it, it'll be okay. You can do this. As always, remember, homeschooling is not a sprint. It's a marathon, and we run it as a family. So go out and enjoy the adventure. Goodbye.